Okay, so the last time I was here, I was talking about that father that's by my son's um, bus stop. And how he's kind of been harassing me a little bit. And he's like, he wants to be my fuckboy. <laughs> well, I've like been trying to avoid him a lot. But it hasn't really worked that well. Well, it has. I just kind of like run in and run out when the bus comes and leaves. So, the last time I, I was here and I told talk to you, talk to you guys, it was... Um, what he was telling me was like how much like he thinks about me and all this other garbage. Well, okay. So today's Friday, June something. I don't really know, and I just know it's Friday. <laughs> so on Monday or Tuesday, um, I think it was Tuesday. Um, this guy he goes and no, it was Wednesday I think. So two days ago. He goes and he's like, I was, me and my son were really late getting to the bus. And as we're getting to the bus, it's literally pulling away and we ran for it. And the father that's normally there, the freaking idiot father, he's still waving at his daughter when he sees us and he like stops the bus for us. So we run and my son runs in and we were able to catch it. And then I turn to the father and I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. Just as I turn, this goddamn man grabs my face and kisses me. I was like, oh, no. I literally smacked him. I was like, no, get off me. And I look over and thank God the bus had like gone away far enough that I don't think my son noticed. And my son never said anything about it. So I'm pretty sure he didn't see it. And I really hope nobody else saw it. But I was just like, oh, my God, what the hell? So I went on this. I was like, what's wrong with you? What do you think you're doing? What? Oh, my God. Like, I can call the police right now. Like, he's like, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I've just been dying to do that. I'm so sorry. It's just it's so beautiful. And I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit. No, you had no right to put your fucking mouth on me. That was disgusting. You really have no right touching me like that. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what do you think you are? Like, I really, just, that's assault. Like, I told him, oh, like, that's assault. I could have called the police. And he's like, no, no. No, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This whole time he's apologizing. He's apologizing. And I don't give a shit. I'm just like, I'm going at him. I'm like ramming him a new one. I'm just like, you know what? You're married. I'm married. What the hell? What if your wife had seen him? What if my husband had seen him? He would have fucking beat the shit out of you. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm so sorry. Don't tell your what? Don't tell your husband. And I'm like, yeah, I should tell my husband. He's in the fucking Navy. He'll fucking kill you. I mean, he won't. But like, you never know. You don't know how, what people will do in situations like that. Like, dude, seriously, what the hell? And he's like, no, no, my wife is so jealous. She's so jealous. And I'm like, if you, your wife is so fucking jealous, why would you do something like that? If you have your wife who's so jealous, what if she had walked around and done it? No, no, but she's at work. I'm like, that's besides the point, dude. Like, you don't do some shit like that. Like, I could call the fucking police. That was fucking assault, dude. He's like... No, 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 I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm never going to do something like that again. Please, please, at this point, this guy is fucking crying. He's so fucking pathetic, and I'm just like, you know what, now you're fucking crying, I mean, now you're fucking scared, because you think of the actions of what you've done. And it's like, yeah, dumbass, you really should have done what you were doing, you shouldn't sit there and fucking kiss a woman, because you feel like, mm, that's what I want to do, so I'm just going to do it, okay? No, motherfucker, that's disgusting, don't touch me. I swear to God, this is what people think. Men and rape, it's like all a big thing. It's like I can do what I want when I want because women don't have rights. Fuck that. No. So, this guy, he's just like, now he's looking like a, a, like a fucking little baby crying now, like really regretting what he's done. And he's crying about it. I'm just like, oh, God, I have someone to have to deal with. I have to go to the same bus stop I don't want this very like awkward situation so please can I just get you some coffee and we could just talk about it I'm so sorry and I'm like I'm not going anywhere with you dude no hell no yeah like, please please I just want to like apologize and tell you like talk to you about the situation my wife is just, just so so jealous and I want to talk to you about it and I just want to like apologize and I'll get you some something to eat whatever and I'm like look McDonald's is literally right up here like right up the block we can go there right here and I'll go get like a juice and I'll 
let you know what the consequences are. And he's like, oh my god, okay, thank you, thank you so much. So literally, we walked up, like, it's literally right up the block. We walked up, I go, and we're, I get my juice. And I'm like, listen, don't ever touch me again. Don't ever come near my fucking face again. Don't fucking even say good morning to me. Don't talk to me anymore. Honestly, like, there's, no, I'm not going to call the police. I'm not going to tell my husband, which is a lie. I told my husband. He was like, are you fucking serious? But I'm like, just, let's just leave it at that. Don't ever do some shit like that again, ever again. Like, boundaries, you know, school is literally almost over. And let's just keep things civil. Like, take your your needs and keep it to yourself. Like, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to see it. Just leave it alone. Oh, my God, you're right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just that my wife is just so jealous. And sometimes, you know, I get, like... I get in, in this mode, and I'm like, listen, I don't really give a shit what your situation is. I don't fucking care, you know, and then he's going on about how, like, he had a friend, and she really, really wanted him, and then they end up having sex, and I'm like, well, now I know why your wife is such a, je- like, such a jealous woman, because you're a fucking cheater, and he's like, no, no, it's just, yeah, I mean, it is, but the thing is, it's because my wife, I'm like, you're putting all on your wife, but honestly, you're a goddamn cheater. And that's the fucking problem. And he's like, no, like, I mean, it's just that these women always want me. And I'm like, dude, you're not this fucking hot dude that all these women want. You just like cheating. And then he showed me pictures how he went to DR. And when he was in DR, you know, um, he met up with his brother. And then right where he lives, there was these two girls who really wanted to have sex with them. And he showed me pictures of these two girls. I'm like, why are you showing me pictures of these two girls? And he's like, yeah, these two girls, yeah, they had sex with me. And I'm like they had sex with him like they they the three of them didn't have sex these two girls had sex with him because they did it to him and i'm like and how old are they and he goes and he tells me 17 and 14 i'm like and how old are you yeah i'm 50 i'm like you're 50 i mean i'll give him that he looks good for his age but bro 50 yeah no well at the time i was in my early 40s i'm like still Oh my God, you're a fucking rapist. He's like, no, but don't judge me. I mean, we're all friends. I'm like, we're not friends. You're a fucking rapist. That was little girls you would just have sex with. No, but it wasn't like they were virgins or anything. I'm like, they literally could have had sex the day before with five other guys. That still makes you a goddamn rapist because those are underage children that you were having sex with. Okay, that's disgusting. Yeah, no, but their but their mother, she she accepted me. I'm like, no, because I'm Dominican too, and those words, you're trying to twist it. When a woman says I accept someone, it means that I trust you around my children. We meet, which means I trust you to not do anything fucking foolish and disgusting, which is what you did. She accepted you, and even though she accepted you, you still had sex with her children. And that is the lowest thing you could do to someone and their children. You're fucking disgusting. So literally, after that point, I was like, you know what? Really? I'm, I need to go. I'm leaving. Bye. So I literally left. I was so disgusted by him. I'm like, don't talk to me anymore. Don't talk to my kids. Stay the fuck away from me. So I left, and this was on Wednesday. So today, which is Friday, he doesn't know that today is the last day for my son to take the bus. I mean, there's like another week left of school, but they don't take attendance anymore, and he's and my kid's leaving. So he doesn't know this. So he thinks we're going to be seeing each other. No, negative, you fucking rapist. I'm in the bus. I'm in the, my husband, when I told him what happened, he's like, hell no, uh-uh. I'm going I'm to take, I'm going to be there at, at the bus stop. So I'm in the car with my husband. Me and my husband are talking. And the whole time that we're talking, I could see, let's call this guy Dave. Because I'm not going to give his real name. Let's call him Dave. Dave is there. And I could see Dave in the corner of my eye. I could see Dave. And he looked really upset. Like, he looked really upset. And me and my husband, we're still talking. We're talking about all the stuff that we need to get and get ready for um, the trip that my son's going with my in-laws and the whole time I could see him he's looking around he keeps looking in our direction so I'm just I'm completely ignoring him well not really ignoring him because I kind of see him looking and, and pacing and shit and I'm like dude what's your deal so 
so when the bus comes, I get out, and he, as I get there, he's like, oh, you know, I'm really upset. I'm like, upset, what's wrong with you? He's like, you know, I'm just, I'm really jealous. I'm like, why are you jealous? No, is that your husband? Like, yep, that's my husband. He know I'm really, really jealous. I'm like, why? You're there with your wife all the time. Why are you jealous? No, I'm just, I am. I'm just, I'm going to be honest. I'm really jealous. I'm like, oh, well, bye. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? I don't even fucking know you from Sam. Like, what the hell is your problem? Fucking psycho. Seriously, people like that are fucking crazy. So I was just like, listen, I gotta go. Bye. And at this point, again, he doesn't know. I'm never gonna be seeing him. I can't say ever again, obviously, because our kids go to the same school. And I don't know where he doesn't... I don't really know where he lives, but... He kind of has an idea of where I live because, like, from where I walk, I walk straight to the bus stop, so it's kind of clear where I kind of live. But I'm actually moving. I'm so My son will still be taking the same bus, but I'll be moving my house. I don't know where yet. But before the school starts, I'll be moving, so he won't know. Fucking asshole. Oh, so weird. So that's just my little rant. That's my little update on the potential fuckboy but I can't even say potential because nothing was ever gonna happen from that but just letting you guys know what happened <laughs> so thank you for listening and update and um let you let you guys know if anything else pops up <laughs> thank you and bye